Well, how are you doing everybody? It's your boy, John Denton, JD the Prophet, and I'm feeling a little bit intimidated, I'm not going to lie, because it's finally time. We're finally here, it's happening, to Pimp a Butterfly, the full album reaction. Yes! Oh my goodness, it's finally happening. And yeah, I'm going to obviously be having lyrics open for every single song. I'll just quickly go through the track list. I have heard How Much A Dollar Cost before. I have heard The Black and the Berry before, so those reactions are up on Rock React, so you can go and see those. But of course we'll be listening to those tracks again, going in with the lyrics, trying to do the best job as I possibly can with what I know is going to be an incredibly dense and potentially difficult album, but one that I absolutely need to do on this journey and one that I'm very excited to do. So without further ado, let's get straight in with Wesley's Theory. <laughs> Hit me when the four corners of this cocoon collide. You'll slip through the cracks, hoping that you'll survive. But I just wanna fight. Late nights thinking of you. When I get signed, homie, I'm acting fool. Hit the dance floor, strobe lights in a room. Snatch your little secretary, bitch, for the homies. Blue eyed devil with a fat. I'ma buy a brand new cutty on Vows. Truck the hood up two times, do slow. Plan them on everything, plan them on wet right Married to the game at a bad bitch shows. When I get signed on me, I'ma buy a strap. Straight from the CIA, set it on my lap. Take a few M16s to the hood. Pass okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, obviously, instrumentals kind of crazy, funk all over the place, time signature strange, but uh, it sounds good. Bass sounds really nice in his headphones as well. And then lyrically, yeah, it seems like it's pretty on point with the idea of what happens when you get signed generally as sort of any entertainer, I guess, talking about himself or, or whoever. When I get signed, homie, I'm by a strap straight from the CIA, set it on my lap straight away. This is, I could tell how it was going to be done, so I was like a bit confused about the CIA lyric. And then Genius is talking about the CIA's contribution to a crack epidemic in the 1970s and the role in the influx of guns in urban areas. It's in, particularly in LA, so it's take a few M16s to the hood, pass them all out in the book, was good. Okay, I mean, I get the point of this, but I have to accept that there are going to be bars that I miss, there's going to be plenty that I miss, there's going to be plenty that I get a single meaning of and there's a double, as a, I get a double meaning of and there's a triple. I'm just going to accept that, but my, my aim is to get as much out of this first proper listen as, as I can. I'ma put the cop to swap me by the White House Republican run up, get socked out Hit the press with a Cuban link on my neck Uneducated, but I got a million dollar check Make never get it, make What you want? You a house? You a car? For the acres and a mule, a piano, a guitar, anything. Say my name is Uncle Sam on your dog. Motherfucker, you can live at the mall. I know you're a guy. That's why I'm a guy. Don't have receipts. Oh, man, that's fine. Pay me later. Wear those gators. Cliche and say fuck your haters. I can see the bottom of you. I can see the dollar in you. Little white lines, but it's no white collar in you. But it's whatever though, because I need a minute on these lyrics. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the instrumental, actually. It's a genius is telling me Uncle Sam seducing Kendrick. So, what you want? You a house or a car? Forty acres and a mule, a piano, a guitar, anything. See, my name's Uncle Sam. I'm your dog, motherfucker. You can live in the mall. I know you're kind. That's why I'm kind. Don't have receipts. Oh man, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay me later. Where does get is okay. So just getting lulled into the credit trap, lulled into the promise of everything. This is a fascinating take on a subject matter that's covered plenty of times about. You know, people getting signed and blowing up too fast, and it's not just musicians, right? It's athletes and everything like that, um, of all of all colours and creeds. Although it's, it's specific here, but uh, the stuff, the way he just just, just layers on the metaphors here in the similes is, is fucking good. But it's still kind of a banger. Wesley snipe your ass before 35. Yeah. Looking down is quite a trip.
There you go. That, that, that was a great track. I, I can't believe I never really tweaked Wesley's theory, Wesley Snipes, of course. And there you go. You just said, yeah, the, the lack of education growing up the, uh, and the, the lure, the allure of um, the material things and getting fucked on, on tax and debt and everything like that, you know. That's a universal truth, but obviously it's very, very specific to the life that, that Kendrick and his community has been brought up with as well, you know. I know people who have fallen foul of that sort of stuff that are from, from England. Let's go into for free interlude. You God's gift to earth. Nigga, you ain't shit. You ain't even buy me no outfit for the force. I need that Brazilian wavy 28 inch. This dick ain't free. You looking at me like it ain't a receipt, like I never made ends meet, eating your leftovers and raw meat. This dick ain't free. Living in captivity, raised my cap salary, celery, telling me green is all I need. Evidently, all I seen was spam and raw sardines. This dick ain't free. I mean, baby, you really think we can make it? So I'll tell you guys a secret. I listened to this before, and I don't think I got much further than this. Because um, I'd heard about this guy, Kendrick Noir, and this is years ago. It was when it came out, in fact. And so I put it on, and I, I had heard that first track, but it just erased itself in my mind, so uh, that was still a clean reaction, I'm still calling that a clean reaction. But this interlude, this dick ain't free, I was like, well, what am I listening to? Because I've heard this guy was good, and I was expecting to put it on and have somebody who just sounded like, you know, just somebody who sounded like, I don't know, fucking M.O.P. or something, just bangers. That's what I liked back then in hip-hop. I never listened to the lyrics, I just like bangers. Good production. And I was like, I just don't get it. This is fucking weird. Now... With the lyrics in front of me, the wordplay, the way the flow, I mean, this is kind of a cappella, I guess, but even though there's music behind it, is the meaning of everything. I'm into it. I never thought I would be, but that, that, that just goes to show. So, yeah, I don't want to say that I've not heard this before, which is why I might not be having the exact reaction facially that you might be expecting, because I was, I was expecting this dick ain't free, because I, I can remember that. That was really stuck in my mind. But, yeah, personally having a completely different reaction to it than when I heard it before. Without a Mercedes Benz or 24 inch rims, 5% tint and air conditioning vents. Hell fucking no, this dick ain't free. I need 40 acres in a mule, not a 40 ounce in a pit bull, bullshit. Matador, Matador, had a door knocking, let him in. Who's that genital? So I need 40 acres in the mule, not 40 ounce in a pit bull. So that 40 acres in the mule, like I didn't realize it was the reparations, the proposal of reparations for former slaves uh, in the aftermath of the Civil War. And that was overturned and obviously not 40 ounce in a pit bull as it says here typical hood shit i had honestly no idea what this is about when i heard it before i didn't understand what i was hearing and now i think it's brilliant watching pornos and poverty apology no watch you politic what people that's fortunate like myself every dog has his day now doggy style shall help let me dorm and dust it do disgusting force with fuck you figures some more shit porcelain price pressure busting twice choices devastated decapitated the horseman oh america you bad bitch i picked cotton and made you rich now my dick ain't free i'ma get my uncle sam that's fucking brilliant i can't believe it i can't believe how my thoughts have changed so much and that just goes to show how important it is to not only keep your own mind but to try and learn about things in life because i heard that I was, oh, like like i say i had heard that before and didn't have a fucking clue what was going on and i found it off-putting i didn't want to listen to it and i basically i'm pretty sure i turned the record off at that point, I'm pretty sure I haven't heard any more of the rest of it. I'll be honest if I have, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. Even if I have, it's all gone from the brain anyway. But like I say, that's stuck in my head. And now, that is, it's so brilliant that I almost want to listen to it again. What a contrast. I will listen to it again, because we've got a lot to get through. Um, King Kunta, this is a name that I've seen many times uh, in comments on Rock Reacts. I got a bone of it. I don't want you monkey mouth motherfucker sitting in my throne again. Hey, hey, nigga, what's happening? I'm mad, but I ain't stressed. Oh yeah, bitch, where you and I was walking? Now I run the game, got the whole world talking. King Kuta, everybody wanna cut the legs off him. When you got the yams, what's the yams? What the fuck happened? Oh no, I swore I wouldn't tell. But most of y'all share bars like you got the bottle bunk in a two man sale. A two man sale. Swagger on this track. I mean, Kendrick is just a different artist on almost every single track. It's amazing. But the swagger on this track, dude. The swagger. I love that line. I swore I wouldn't tell, but most of you all sharing bars like you got the bottom bunk in a two-man cell. Bomb in a motherfucking bomb. Oh, yeah. Bitch, 
where you and I was walking. Now I run the game, got the whole world talking. King Kota, everybody wanna cut the legs off. Of. King Kota, black man taking no loss. 24 7, 365 days times two. I was contemplating getting on stage just to go back to the hood, see my enemy and say, Bitch, where you and I was walking. Now I run the game, got the whole world talking. King Kota, everybody wanna cut the legs off. Then I put that on my mama and my baby boo too. 20 million walking out the court, baby, whoa, whoa. Yeah, fuck the judge, I made it past 25 And now I was a little nappy a nigga with the world behind him Life ain't shit, but a fat vagina Split off him, King Kota Black man taking no loss oh, yeah. Bitch, where you and I was walking Now I run the game, got the whole world talking I remember you was conflicted, misusing your influence. Dude, that was such a tune. It was just such a banger. Like, there was a lot of lyrics in there, but I was just enjoying the music too much. It says, stuck a flag in my city, everybody's screaming Compton. I should probably run for mayor when I'm done, to be honest. And I put that on my mama and my baby boo too. 20 million walking out of court building, woo woo. 20 million, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Often spoken to 20 million oppressed African Americans. So, yeah. First time I heard that, I probably thought it was in reference to money, but yeah, you know, this is the beauty of having genius stuff, you know. And then I made it past 25, um, which I'm guessing is, yeah, a line reminiscent, it even says it up there, of Kanye's um, We Don't Care. There's so much in here. I'm looking forward to going back in and really digging in, but I can't make this a seven and a half hour video. And also, you need to just listen to the music a bit the first time. You can't just keep stopping and keep stopping it because that's not that's not how it's supposed to be appreciated. And we're only on track four, and we're already deep into this video as long as a long ass thing. Right into institutionalized Brian Anawise and Snoop. What money got to do with it? When I don't know the full definition of a rap image. If I was the president, I my mom would rent. Free my old knees and limbs. I am my style. Yes, I'm an LA poison positive. I can just alleviate the rap industry politics. Milk the game up. Never let like and tolerant, the last remainder a real shit, you know the obvious classic case of once you make it out of the hood once you make it out of your circumstance you know, the people around you start getting jealous potentially want to pull you back down something like that, but he's also institutionalising it okay there's a lot to dig into there's a lot to dig into, but again, musically I'm enjoying I love his flow on this verse it's really interesting, there's kind of a staccato flow I've not really heard that before but um, yeah, it sounds almost a little bit spoken word poetry like the interlude but with that nice kind of laid back loungy beat very interesting get up and wash your ass nigga shit don't change it to you get up and but once upon a time in the city so divine called west side compton there stood a little nigga he was five foot something god bless the kid goodness Tell me to get him quickly because he got it. It's a recession, then what the fuck he a king of diamonds? No more living, boy, meet my 4-4. When I see him with the bird, deal on the floor. Now Kendrick know that you're cold workers. But this gonna take a lot for this pistol go cold turkey. So this is the perspective of somebody who's still there looking up at Kendrick, right? So you got that presidential glass floor as well as the glass ceiling. Fuck am I supposed to do when I'm looking at walking licks? It's a recession, why the fuck are you at King of Diamonds? I guess it's club, I didn't know that made sense. No more living poor, meet my 4-4. Four, four. Dude, this, this is, is so good. <laughs> it's just so good. I, do, I, I, I need to keep remembering I'm on a fucking video because I just want to study. I want to study what I'm reading because this is on a different level. And, and then it says there that this flows the same flows on Good Kid. But see, I'm on the clock with that watch landing in the leg. Remember, still from the rich and giving it back to the poor. Well, that's me at these awards. I guess my grandmama was warning the boy. She said, Shit don't change to you. Get up and wash your ass, nigga. Blood, but you can't take the hood off the homie. Took his show money, stashed it in the mosey wosey. Hollywood's nervous. Fuck you, good night. Thank you much for your service. 
Whew. Very good track. Very, very, very good track. Love the dichotomy that it has there with the two perspectives. Again, some of the subject matter has been covered before, but I don't think it's ever been done that eloquently. Or not that I've heard, anyway. Um, I've really captivated in a way that I never really understood that I was going to be. Uh, there's some, obviously, a couple of the later tracks on this, but now I'm excited to, to, to kind of, you know, be there and be in it and, and have this as an album, as a project. And it needs to be listened to like this. And I know everybody's been telling us that on Rock Reacts forever, and we knew it. And that's why I'm doing this, and that's why we're doing these. Because this is how, like, we're music fans, we're, we're music fans in our mid-30s, we know that albums, many albums need to be listened to in their entirety, their body of work, they're trying to do something. And again, like a kid, this is a, a very special concept album, I can tell already. Um, I think maybe I'm enjoying this more than Good Kid, which is a real surprise to me, actually. I thought that I might struggle with this, but I've loved everything so far, and that's the truth. So now we move into These Walls, um, with Bilal, Anna Wise and Thundercat. Sex. She just wanna close her eyes and sway With you, with you, with you I can feel your ring when it cries Gold lives inside of you I love it when I'm in it I love it when I'm in it People walk and talk, they tell me to swim good Float better than he would. No light jacket, I'm at the guard in Nazareth. But your flood can be misunderstood. War telling me that full of pain was in me. It's too much here. This is this is too um, too late in imagery and symbolism. So I'm going to need to. I feel like I'm going to need to stop quite a few times just to get out what the hell's going on here because this is the first time I felt a bit stuck. These walls could talk. They tell me to swim good. Okay, these walls refer to her vagina. She's using her body language to tell Kendrick that she's swim good and make an effort to please her sexually. Okay, this is one of those ones that makes me question everything I've ever written and I've written not music and, uh, and lyrics but professionally just magazines websites for years since I was young so was it since I was in my early 20s and then you see something like this and it just makes me want to throw up everything tear up everything I've ever written the wall of vulnerable exclamation interior your pink color coordinated I interrogated every nook and cranny the wall can talk they tell me to go deep Yelling at me continuously, I can see your defense mechanism is my decision. Knock these walls down, that's my religion. Wall feeling like they ready to close in. I suffocate, they catch my second wind. Dude, there are too many meanings. <laughs> There's too many meanings, man. I can't. I can't. How can I possibly do this to justice? There's too many meanings to it all. Every single line, like, means three or four different things, dude. I'm relating to part of it. And I couldn't relate any less to so much of it. I don't know what to do. I never felt like this doing a react. How many songs have I reacted to now? I never felt like this before, reacting to a song. I don't know what to do. I just, I kind of just want to sit there and just study it. Just, I need a notebook. It's too much. It's just too much. It's, 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 yeah, obviously inside of a prison now. You pray for a peace, hoping a warden would afford in a sentence so important. Always telling you to listen to sing about me. I mean, I told you. I didn't tell you. I said in the good keen reaction, he's created his own cinematic, audiomatic, whatever we want to call it, universe. I'm reading, I'm reading a thing here. Retaliation isn't needed when Kendrick knows that he will haunt the one in front of the gun. So he lives forever. Although when Kendrick's homie Dave died, the shoot's life was spared, but he did up getting his karma by getting caught for the shooting on the same night. By telling Dave's killer to replay the first verse, Kendrick is revealing the sexual talk from the first verse is actually the killer's girl. The sex from the first verse is a means of revenge of Kendrick.
found myself screaming in the hotel room. Okay. Right. Into You, which I could tell by the scream at the beginning, is the first part of that God is Gangster, which we've done on Rock React. So I have heard this. This is going to be a completely different context. Let's go. It's complicated. Never you is complicated. Never you is complicated. No marble floors. Watching anonymous strangers telling me that I'm yours. But you ain't shit. I'm confused. I'm telling us nothing special. You preached in front of 100,000, but never reached her. I fucking tell you, fucking fail you. You ain't no leader. I swear, never you is complicated. Never you is complicated. Loving you is complicated. Do not love you, want it proof. I can feel if I've been recognized that you're ashamed. That's all I got. But nations are burning, everyone felt it, everyone heard it. Multiple shots, corners crying, now you've been on visit. Get your thought here, recover well. Third surgery, they couldn't stop the bleeding for real. So in, in many ways, it's a damn shame that we reacted to the God is Gangster thing because we didn't know what the hell was going on and we didn't know what to expect. And to hear this without context, you, you can't. But in context, I'm oh, staggering. From these walls to this, staggering. Staggering. I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, I, I'm pausing it to talk because that's kind of what you do, right? But reality, I'm just, I'm just there. I'm right there. Let's keep going this track. I cry myself to sleep, bitch. Everything is your fault. Falls breaking to pieces. Earthquakes so nephew weakened. Because you shook as soon as you need the world or no money can't stop a suicidal weakness. Of course. I need to get a new one. That's it's rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe how good this whole thing is. I can't believe how good those two last songs are. Just as pieces of art, as much as anything else. The performance. I just imagine when so like we listened to Kim, Eminem's Kim the other day, and then his performance, I just imagine him in the booth afterwards in the studio and again here. Also we've seen the video of him acting it out as well. So there's that visual, but just that that particular recording is it's um you know it's so relatable in so many ways. I'm sure it's to anybody who suffered with certain thoughts and feelings and illnesses, and yet so specific to him, which is a, a theme throughout everything that he does. But it's just on a completely different level to perhaps anything I've ever heard. I don't even really know. I mean, I can't believe it's only six tracks into this fucking album, dude. Okay. Um, in with All Right, then. Bad trips like, yeah, Nazareth. I'm fucked up, homie, you fucked up. But if God got us, then we gon' be all right. Nigga, we gon' be all right. Nigga, we gon' be all right. Looking at you looking at me for the pay cut. Bahamas, I be looking at you from the face down. One Mac 11, even boom with the face down. Skimming, and let me tell you about my life. Painkillers only put me in a twilight. We're pretty pussy. I can see why people say that Logic bites Kendrick. The flow. It's on everybody by Logic. is The flow is exactly the same as this, right? Fine. I still like Logic. Tell the world I know it's too late. Boys and girls, I think I've gone great. Trying to side my face is all day. And we hate poor poor. When they kill us dead in the street for sure. Nigga, I'm at the preacher's door. My knees getting weak and my gun might blow, but we gon' be alright. Alright, nigga. I thought I've heard that before. We hate poor poor. Wanna kill us dead in the street for sure, which is obviously the line that's quoted on the news report in fucking DNA. Which we now reacted to twice on Rock Reacts, which I have heard, because obviously I've heard Damn, uh, I will do the reaction to that uh, in this series as well, the re reaction, whatever you want to call it, re review. And this is obviously the line The cinematic fucking universe continues. This song, it's difficult, honestly, this song's kind of washing over me a little bit, but it shouldn't because it's so good. But it does feel like a bit of a period of, I guess, levity, you call it? Just because there's a little bit of a positive edge to it, but I'm uh, just still kind of mind blown after those last two tracks. We're gonna be alright. That's for real. I can see the evil, I can 
Man, Logic Bit is so bad, dude. Wow. Um, whatever. That's not why we're here. Uh, Lucifer, Lucy for sure. So Lucy is Lucifer, okay. I'm not, I, feel, I almost feel like I'm not doing this track justice because I'm still kind of mind blown by the last one. I might take a little personal break after after this one. This is, uh, I want to do all the rest of the songs justice and I'm still in that. I'm still in you in these walls. But yeah, this is a, a strong track. A very strong track. But in the, it, like even musically needed that levity after after you. Right till I'm right with God. When you know we've been hurt, been down before. Nigga, when our pride was low. Okay, I've had a little break. I've had a little rest. Had a little decompress. Had a little think. It's late here. It's uh, ten past eleven at night. I've got myself coffee to keep myself going. The hardest working people in this game. I'm gonna go back in now. That is a strong coffee. I'm gonna go back in now for sale interlude. Okay. Okay, this is obviously the second part of you in God is Gangster. So yeah, I've heard this before. Again, it's gonna have a completely different context. Give me my eyes about four or five times till I was hypnotized and you clarified that I smoking, looking, poking, that danger tell them I don't want you because I want you. No wonder we didn't have a fucking clue what was going on when we watched that fucking video. Uh, at least it makes a bit more sense now, obviously getting the Lucy Lucifer thing. Lucy don't mind, cause at the end of the day you'll pursue me. Lucy go get it, Lucy not damn it, Lucy up front. Lucy got paperwork on top of paperwork. Okay, so he's contemplating, toying with the idea of basically selling his soul to the devil. For this record country, for everything else, I'm sure there's plenty of other bars and depth in there, but um, I get the overall concept of the track. I'm getting the overall concept of the whole album. Obviously, um, it makes so much more sense than before. It's it's so good. It's so captivating. It's so deeply personal. Yeah, about so many different things. It's really special. I did the same. Views of my power full of resentment. Resentment that turned into a deep depression till I came home. Okay, into mama. Oh, He's gone home. I need that. Yeah. All cap. West, West, West. We don't share the same synonym. Far back. West, West, West. Been in it before internet had new acts. Mimicking radios, nemesis made me whack. My innocence limited, the experience lacked. Ten of us with no tentative tactic that cracked. Okay, this is one of those tracks where I need to uh, to read to feel what the fuck he's talking about. Okay, I'm getting it. Yeah, so it's a, it's a little bit of a, a nostalgia piece, going back home, feeling reconnecting with himself, right? To potentially shunning the devil, shunning the idea of selling his soul. Now I can live in the stadium, pack it the fastest. Gambling, Benjamin, benefit, sending in traffic, spinning women in cartwheels, linen fabric on fashion, winning in every decision. Rhyming the master flow. The master the, isn't Unreal. It? Lovely how you pack, but what's better than that? The fact. I love the fact this is like clean, lyrical rap. Rap, rap. Rapper's rap, right? It's the rhyme structures, everything like that. The rhymes joining in every, halfway through every single line, every single bar. Gambling Benjamin benefits, sitting in traffic, spinning women's in cart fields, linen fabric on fashion, winning in every decision. Kendrick is mastered and mastered it. Isn't it lovely how menaces turn to traction? Pivoting rappers, finish your fraction. I know everything. I know everything, know myself, I know morality, spirituality, good and bad health, I know fatality, my aren't you? I know everything, distributed, I know how people work, I know the price of life, I'm knowing how much it's worth, I know what I know and I know it well not to ever forget, take a glimpse of your family ancestor, make a new list of everything you thought was progress and that was bullshit, I know your life is full of turmoil, you spoil your fantasies of who you are, I feel bad for you, rest in peace, then be an advocate, tell your homies especially to come back home. Mm. So to come back home, but to come back home, it's talking about going back to South Africa. This is a world premiere. I've been looking for you my whole life, and never time for the feeling I can barely describe. 
Where well, you risk? Is it in a woman? Is it in money or makeup? Is it in a woman? Is it in money or makeup? Give me some dick, I'm losing my mind. I, I say, where you at? From the front to the back. I'm looking for you, I react. Only when you react. I, I think I'm going to be in the middle of 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 Brilliant concept if it is. Yeah, it's so it's. <laughs> I was about to try and say something intelligent, but I'm not as intelligent as Kendrick Lamar, clearly. So let's just move on to hood, hood politics. Hod politics. <laughs> Since day one, since day one, you niggas boo boo. Your own boy, your block that you're from, boo boo. Oh, your shit is where it's at, my, my nigga. nigga. Came in this game, you stuck your fangs in this game. You want no chain in this game, your hood, your name in this game. 50 niggas salute, out the captain suit with the extras. Elcos, Monte Carlos, Road Kings, and dressers. Rip riders, P focus, Mexicans, they fuck with you. 14 with the deuce deuce. 14 years later, going hard like we used to on a dead army. It's a fire song. What's interesting is if I'd only ever heard this say someone said, listen to one Kendrick Lamar song, and they played me this, I would think he was a completely different type of artist because this obviously has so much more in common with gangster rap, but obviously there's so much more going on in, in, in the lyrics than some of that that music. But this is interesting. This is an interesting track. It's probably my least favourite on the album, despite instrumentally being perhaps one of my favourites. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I like it, but I want to get to something that is a bit more tied into the concept of everything else but maybe I'm just missing it or maybe I need a bit more as, it, as the track goes on I've been eight once since day one you niggas boo boo your own boy your block that you're from boo boo little hoes you went to school with boo boo baby my man you new bitch boo boo crown pick my memory been gone since don't ask about no camera blocking at award shows no no ask about my bitch no no ask about my foes unless you asking me about power yeah, I got a lot of it. They opened up Pandora's box. I boxed them all in by a landslide. Nah, homie, we too sensitive. It's been. Whew. Flames. Flames coming off there. I just wanted to know what some of this shit means. <laughs> Where is it? I'm the only guy next to Snoop that can push the button. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so the button launches the missiles and starts the war between the West and East Coast. Okay. Oh, wow. So, I mean, this is incredibly, incredibly dense. Look, k -Dot, what's up? Oh, they opened up Pandora's box. I box them all in by a landslide. Still East versus West, but then you can add, add in racial tensions that people are saying ingenious. And then, I mean, Pandora's box has obviously let out all the evils into the world, but also let out hope, right? So that's why it's Pandora's box. And I box them all in by a landslide. Oh man, I need more. I need more information. More information. I'm really looking forward to listening to that podcast. Said it's funny how one first can fuck up the game. I've been eight once since day one, you niggas boo boo. I remember you was conflicted, misusing your influence. But while my loved ones was fighting a continuous war back in the city, I was entering a new one. Ooh, I love the way the, um, the instrumental shifts there from the poem at the end to uh, Tamasha Dollar Cost. Yeah, I heard this song before. The first true reaction to it is over on Rock React. It's going to be interesting now in the context of the album, how it changes. I do know what the song is about. Um, so, yeah, the, the pure reaction is over on Rock Reacts. Google search is easy to find. Um, okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Oh, that's fucking instrumental. My thoughts, parasites in my stomach keep me with a gut feeling, y'all. Gotta see how I'm chilling once I park this luxury car. Believe it, told him beat it. Contributing money just for his pipe, I couldn't see it. He said, My son, temptation is one thing that I've defeated. It's brilliant anyway. It was brilliant in isolation. It was brilliant when we heard it for the first time on Rock Reacts. To hear it now in the context of everything that this album is about, it just elevates it to a different level entirely. This is just an unbelievable track. It's an unbelievable track. And the beauty is because of my dumbass memory. I've forgotten what happens at the end. I know there's something, but I've forgotten what it is, which is great because I'm going to get to enjoy it again. It's belief. My temper is building. He's staring at me. I grab my key. He's staring at me. I started the car, then I tried to leave. Oh, 
tripping and feeling resentment. I never met a transient that demanded attention. Edison reeking from your skin, moonshine and gin. Nigga, you're babbling, your words ain't flattering. I'm imagining Denzel, but looking at old Neil. Cut the choir that spoke the word, the Holy Spirit, the nerve of Nazareth. And I tell you just how much a dollar cost. The price of happiness, spot in heaven, embrace your loss. I am God. I wash my hands, I said my grace, what more do you want from me? Tears of a cloud. Yeah. Listen. Like I said, the first true reaction to that track is on Rock Reacts. So you can go and check it on there. But there's nothing else to do. I mean, that is... Of course. Of course it is. It's beyond brilliant. It's beyond brilliant. It's a... It's a parable. It's... It's a parable. It's a, it's evocative. It paints a picture. It, at times could feel like it's taken from a true story. Perhaps so much of it is. It's so thoughtful and thought-provoking. It's simple yet incredibly complex. And it ties in with the exact themes of what's going on and the exact story of what's going on in this fucking album, dude. Right. <laughs> Into Complexion. Azuli Love. Two steps. Two steps. Complexion don't mean a thing. This is solo love. I know what the jam is done. Sneak. Sneak me through the back window, I'm a good field nigga I made a flower for you out of kind just to chill with you You know I go the distance This is so uh. Dark is the midnight hour, how bright is the morning sun Brown skin, they but your blue eyes tell me your mama can't run Dark is the midnight hour, bright is the morning sun Brown skin, but your blue eyes tell me your mama can't run I mean, I just saw a movie in my head I stopped for a minute, I just saw a movie in my head on one line a movie. Mankind, a feline color should never rival. Beauty is what you make it. I used to be so mistaken, but reflection. Two steps, two steps. Reflection don't mean a thing. Right. So I never heard of this Willie Lynch theory before. I just hadn't, and I'm reading about it very quickly now. So to quick the quick talk on the Willie Lynch theory, originating originating in 18th century letter, the William Lynch theory holds that the best way of controlling slaves to exploit differences such as age or skin colour between slaves. By focusing on these differences, slave owner pits slaves with dissimilar backgrounds or complexions against each other rather than together against the owner. So to reverse the theory, instead of exploiting differences to divide the slaves, they'll be treated equally and united. Complexion doesn't matter. I mean, if you don't think that's what's fucking happening now with the media, if you don't think that's what's fucking happening now between... I'm not just talking about race as well. I'm talking about you know, people with different political ideologies, um... People who are actually far more, so many people, I mean, we're so much more similar than the media likes to to, to make us. And they're trying to divide us constantly, creating these groups the whole time. And everybody buys into it. People buy into it. They buy into it on social media. And it's fucking, it's unpleasant, dude. And it scares me. And I'm talking about people who think they're doing it out of a place of compassion as well. And you, you see it. And the media left, right, up, down, center. It all runs on it. It all runs on it. It all feeds off it. It creates, creates, creates views. It creates numbers. If you don't think that's happening right now, you're crazy. This, the, and that's the thing that fucks me up, man, because we're, there's so many people that have so much in common. There's a reason our channel, there's a reason the channel like Lost in Vegas have done so well in such a short space of time because so many people actually want to be fucking together, want to be united, want to feel the same thing, want to connect. It's that, That's the reality, I fucking tell you. And the media is trying to tell us something else. And I'm not saying that there aren't bad people. I'm not saying there aren't racist people. I'm not saying there aren't people with massively, wildly different ideologies. I'm not saying there's not evil. I'm not saying there's not people who disagree. I'm not saying there's not division. Of course there is. But they know that they can keep us all, all in that way of thinking by constantly feeding back into it. And like I say, if you don't think that's happening right now, it's crazy to hear it here. About something so specific, and I'm not trying to... Um, Diminish the exact subject matter here. It's a very specific thing. It's a very crazy time in human history and Western culture's history. So please don't say I'm trying to um, diminish anything that he's talking about here. But to read that and say, yeah, well, that's happening now. That is, uh, that, that, that is what is happening now by the masters of now, right? The media, the, the conglomerates, the owners, the people who are controlling everything. 
It's quite good, this house. <laughs> I don't know, I never heard of Rhapsody before, it's just fucking amazing. Who's like, I'm gonna do a quick Google, cut it. Okay. Just just a female rapper the same age as me, but uh, uh, yeah, she's amazing. Busters ain't talking Need a paradox for the paradox they tutor. Like two tides, LL, you lose two times. Context, find an air beneath the kite, uh, that's a context. Yeah, baby, I'm conscious. Ain't no. And it's all beautiful to me. Call your brothers magnificent. Call all the sisters queens. We all on the same team. Blues and pyrus. No colors ain't a thing. Ooh, Rhapsody. <laughs> and now, Black and a Berry. Again, first reaction on Rock Reacts. Excited. Excited. Hypocrite in 2015. Once I finish this, witnesses will convey just what I mean. Came from the bottom of mankind. My hair is nappy, my dick is big, my nose is rounded wide. You're killing, you made me a killer. Emancipation of a real nigga. You would only hire me, curse me till I'm dead. Church me with your fake prophesizing that I'ma be just another slave in my head. How can I tell you I'm making a killing? You made me a killer, emancipation of a real nigga. I'm African, I'm black as the heart of a fucking area. I'm black as the name of Tyrone and Darius. It's funny how Zulu and Thosa might go to war. Two tribal armies that want to build and destroy. It's just so good. It's so, 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 so good. I'm African American, I'm African, I'm black as the heart, fucking Aryan. It's just undiluted rage, it's undiluted rage, and it's fucking fantastic, man. It's fucking fantastic. God, what a complex individual he is. Yeah, like I say, first true reaction's on there. I don't want to reiterate stuff I was saying on that reaction, it is on there. It just works so well because I just think, as brilliant as it is, it's not succinct, this song. It is kind of all over the place, and he's struggling with that own hypocrisy in his own head. Which is why it's it, it, it's full of vitriol and rage, but it's all over the place because he can't quite pin his exact place in all the stuff that he's thinking. So it's just kind of going out of rage against everybody, you know, against basically you know all white people. But he's not specifying. It's just still the you know, and historically the people that have done this to his people, to his race. Or tell Georgia State Marcus Garvey got all the answers Or try to celebrate February like it's my B-Day Or eat watermelon chicken and Kool-Aid on weekdays Or jump high enough to get Michael Jordan endorsements Or watch BET cause urban support is important So why did I weep when Trayvon Martin was in the street When gang banging make me kill a nigga blacker than me Hypocrite I mean that's amazing that fast that fucking last line <laughs> It's amazing Must be exhausting. Must be exhausting living in Kendrick Lamar's head. It's exhausting living in my head, but it must be even more exhausting living in Kendrick Lamar's head. My goodness. All right, we're getting there now. We're getting there now. Am I going to run out of batteries before the end of this uh, reaction? Well, considering the last track's 12 minutes, maybe. But we're into You Ain't Gonna Lie, and Mama said. Ain't the same circus acts only attract those that entertain small talk. We know that it's all talk. We live in the laugh factory every time they mention your name. That only upsets me. You sound like the bad song. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. Get my I love this song because it's just about truly being yourself. You're uh, truly being yourself, which I guess is what so much of this album has just been about. You know, finding he really 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 is and yeah even just going back to section 80 the Kendrick there compared to the Kendrick here and then superstar Kendrick which I guess came from his sort of here on after um you can see the difference just in that self assuredness but I'm sure he's still got all that complexion and hurricanes going on inside his mind he has to it's just just him but you know hopefully he's helped this 
has helped him find some sort of peace. Like I do with doing the same myself. But you think it's all love, and the girl's gonna neglect you once your parody is done. Reputation can't protect you if you never had one. Kicking my neck, you ain't gotta lie, you ain't gotta lie, you ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. I love that line, man. The loudest one in the room, that's a complex. Little quick story time, little quick story time for you. Once, you'll see, I did um, I was working with a company I with Monster Energy, and we were looking after some UFC stuff. I was doing that for a little while, and uh, Rory McDonald, of all people, was over in Ireland where I was, and I went out drinking with him and Faraz Sahabi, if you know who that is. Rory McDonald, um, big MMA fighter, very famous. He was in the UFC at the time, and uh, we were in a bar in Ireland, and I kind of kicked it off with Roy. He's a fucking very, very nice, very smart, very uh, intelligent guy. And this other guy, who uh, uh, he'll remain nameless, but he is a well-off manager slash um, owns uh, an MMA promotion. It's not Dana White or anyone like that. He was hammered drunk, probably on uh, coke as well. And he was just like all over the place, and he brought everybody in this group, like 15 people, shots and everything like that. And it was like flashing money everywhere. And he, he, he wasn't intimidating because he was a small man, but he was just like, like nothing ever seen. And I was in that situation, I'm naturally quite quiet. And I spoke to Rory and he was just like, he said to that guy, that's the most insecure guy out of everyone. It's like, can't you see all of this, all of this flash, all of this money, all of these shots, anything? The guy's insecure. He's like, I don't want to talk to that guy, I'd rather talk to you. He said to me, which is a weird thing to say at the time, but that was very nice. But it, it really meant a lot from a guy like him. Like Roy McDonald, uh, uh, one of the best fighters in the whole world, to to just identify the the archetype of the other person had been somebody that you know I've had issues with people like that my whole life, loud mouth bullies, you know all those sorts of people, arrogant, egotistical people, and Kendrick's exactly right there. I mean, the loudest one in the room. That's a complex. I mean, it's it couldn't be said any better. It's it's a hundred percent true. Let's just be full gazy. This is for full gazy niggas and bitches who make a bitch with line babies. Bless them little hearts. You can never persuade me. You can never relate me. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my nigga. You ain't gotta try so hard. Yeah, I mean, the, that was a cool song. It works beautifully in the context of the album. I think uh, that's one that may grow on me the more I listen to it. I'm, already, I'm not really analysing this stuff musically because it all, all grabs you. Some of the songs bang more than others, but the whole thing is it's just like this art piece. But I've, I've enjoyed every track musically more than I thought I would as somebody who doesn't really like jazz, but maybe I do. Maybe the movie Whiplash changed everything for me. Maybe this album has changed everything for me as well. But yeah, that track, I feel like maybe I'm just a bit blown by this album do you know what I mean maybe my mind is just a little bit blown maybe I've, I've got to the limit of my um, ability to to break things down and comprehend stuff but there, there was something there it worked very well in the context of everything that had come before it uh, near the end now we've got I and then the 12 minutes of Mortal Man so wow this has been an experience this has absolutely been an experience this is uh Quite a way to listen to an album for the first time. It really is doing this. I love being able to do this. I love being able to, uh, to connect with you guys and we're doing this together. It's it's it's, it's unreal. To be honest, it's unreal. Okay, here we go with the track. I. What's happening for you? I'd have been through a whole lot. They're looking at me. Yeah. Tell me what you see. I, love myself. I, I put a bullet in the back of the back of the head and a bullet, and then I might have wanna scream. Uh. These days of frustration keep y'all Come to the front Come out there uh, And when you're looking at me uh, Tell me what do you see I love myself I put a bullet in the back of the back of the head And a bullet Come on Oh, I needed this one I did this, man Goodness, did I need this At the end of all of this Intensity, I needed this. For me and my scars, everybody like confident. Everybody like confident. How many times my potential was anonymous? With the war last night. Nice, 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 nice. I've been dealing with depression ever since the adolescence. I can never hear the blessing. I can never see the message. I can mm. never take the Not on my time. Kill the music. Not on my time. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. My check, my check, my check, my check, my check. Fuck niggas. No better than Samuel on the Django. No better than a white man with slave boats. Well, this is my explanation straight from Ethiopia. N E G U S. Definition royalty. Free. Tell us you right on time. Kendrick Lamar, by far, real as Nika's alive. Damn, dude. That just went from like a fucking rock and roll song with a message. It was like a fucking protest song from the 70s. 
then that crazy fucking live breakdown thing, whatever the hell was going on there, and then that acapella bit at the end was just power. All right, into it's 12 minutes, couple Kendrick. 12 minutes of Mortal Man. Still a fan. When shit hit the fan. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, when shit hit the fan, is you still a fan? As I leave this army, make room for mistakes and depression. And with that being said, my nigga, let me ask this question. Is your smile on permanent? Is your foul on lifetime? What you know where the sermon is? If I died in this next line, hand to grade me on every block. Want you to love me like Nelson. Want you to hug me like Nelson. I freed you from being a slave in your mind. You're very welcome. But you look to your left and right. Make sure you act. It's all there. I mean, it's all there, isn't it? It's all there. It's, I mean, it, there. So yeah. Friends, even though y'all share the same blood, is it worth the time? Like, who got your best interest? Like, how much are you dependent? How clutch are the people that say they love you and who pretended? How tough is your skin when they turn you in? Do you show forgiveness? What brush do you bend with dust in your shoulders from being offended? What kind of den did they put you in with? Kendrick explores the durability of one's integrity, brushstrokes representing coping mechanisms that barricade the negativity and prejudice someone may encounter. Side also has a sense of empowerment. You possess the brush, allowing you to paint the world in whichever way you please. Your ability to change your own perception of life grants you the power to change the perception of others. Additionally, this line invokes Jay-Z's dirt of your shoulder. Kendrick questions the audience as to what means they use to cleanse their shoulders. That's a lot. That's a lot to take in. For one lyric, for one line, at the end of this, in a 12 minute song, Mr. Lamar. Mandela, hope this flow stay propelling. Let my word be your earth and moon, you consume every message. Tensity in his voice now. As I leave now. this army, family, friends, fans, cats, dogs, trees, plants, grass, how the wind blow, Murphy's Law, Generation X, will I ever be your ex? Flaws of a baby step, more by the mouth of bit. While my loved ones was fighting a continuous war back in the city, I was entering a new one. A war that was based on apartheid and discrimination. Maybe I'm just another nigga. Shit, and that's all I wrote. I was gonna call it another nigga, but it ain't really a poem. I just felt like it's something you probably could relate to. Poor people. Right. The poor people is gonna open up this whole world and swallow up the rich people. Cause the rich people are gonna be so fat and, mm -hmm. and they're gonna be so appetizing. Mm -hmm. Of success, how would you say you manage? This is crazy, dude. This is so, this is so well done. And that's right now, while you a teenager, while you still strong, while you still want to lift weights, while you still want to shoot back. Because once you turn 30, it's like they take the heart and soul out of a man, out of a black man in this country. Because of spirits. We ain't even really rapping. We just letting our dead homies tell stories for us. Man. One thing you notice is how much the world shuns him, but praises the butterfly. The butterfly represents the talent, the thoughtfulness, and the beauty within the caterpillar. But having a harsh outlook on life, the caterpillar sees the butterfly as weak and figures out a way to pimp it to its own benefits. Wings begin to emerge, breaking the cycle of feeling stagnant. Finally free, the butterfly sheds light on situations that the caterpillar never considered, ending the internal struggle. Although the butterfly and caterpillar are completely different, they are one and the same. What's your perspective on that? Pop. 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 I was just staring at the words then. That was, I mean, there we go, <laughs> really. That was so brilliantly done, the conversation between him and Tupac there. And it makes me want to listen to way more Tupac. Way more Tupac. I can't, I, I mean, I, I don't even have words, mate. That wasn't an album, but it's just a moment. It, it, it transcends what an album is. I mean, it's like nothing on earth. I, know, I never heard anything like it, honestly. I never heard anything like it in my life. The, you mean there's probably music I'd rather listen to, but as a piece of art, as a... I, I can't think of the right adjective as a, as a moment, the right noun even, just as a fucking moment, as a a seminal piece. 
that's this sort of absolute zenith of what hip hop can be in what, 2015 that came out in the modern era. Uh, what can you say? What can you say? I can understand why people are disappointed by Damn now. I'm excited to go back and listen to that. I'll probably do some of the um, the other stuff before we get to Damn. Because I do love Damn, but I can understand why people are disappointed with it from that. That's on a completely different level. It's honestly it's on a completely different level to anything I've ever heard. I don't have anything else to really add. Like you've seen the reactions to every single song. Just that poem at the end, or the the little soliloquy at the end there. It's, it's, I, I, don't, I don't I don't have anything more to add, dude. It's it's they do actually. Obvious again. I need to get a better one of these, like that album. I mean, obviously. Obviously, I will remember doing this for a long time. Obviously, the video is there for you guys to watch. And thank you very much if you did watch this far. Remember, I've got to talk now. Um, if you did get to the end, please do comment. The usual, I made it. There's people out there who've written that on every single one of these album reactions, which is incredible. Um, yes, I will likely be doing uh, Damn and some of the other Kendrick stuff as well, but let me know if there's anything that I've missed, anything that I really need to be getting to. I want to get a complete picture of the man's work before moving on. I will be doing a video as well, talking about where I see the albums, if I do a little like in order or something like that, just a little follow-up thing uh, when I've done all of these Kendrick albums. But once again, thank you very much for, for letting me share this with you guys and sharing this together. It really is an incredible privilege and it really was a privilege to listen to that in this format or anything else but without this format I'd have never have put that much effort in to listen to it and uh, I'm just very grateful I was able to now so that's about it remember to subscribe if you are new please do subscribe obviously like the video share it out uh, I'd love this video to, to get close to um, 100,000 views I think that this might be the album that does it we've already got one video that size on the channel um, trying to get to, to the next milestone on this channel subscriber wise just trying to get everything to grow you know like i'm aiming I've got three channels now rock reacts we've already got the plaque we haven't literally got the plaque since then we sent it but we've all got 100k subs want to get the triple plaque man as long to get to the 100k on here and then jd reacts has just started just started but i want to get that triple plaque man i can see them all one two three over there or wherever i might be sitting that's going to be you know i can visualize that shit in my mind Anyway, this is probably a very long video. So thank you very, very, very much for watching. This has been John Dead and JD the Prophet reacting to, first time listening to, talking about the fucking incredible To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.